swing those arms, stamp those feet. There are 4,305 cinemas in Great Britain. Every night they've brought you the excitement, the drama, the glamour of the great names. They've brought the world to your hometown. They've made famous stars your familiar friends. The entertainment they offer has become an accepted part of your standard of living. Perhaps you've taken it a little too much for granted. Today the industry is facing a crisis, a crisis for which it is not to blame. A seat at your local cinema may cost as little as one shilling and tenpence, the price of three and a half hours of the finest entertainment in the world. One shilling and tenpence. But of that, the whole film industry receives one shilling. From every pound paid at the box office, entertainment tax removes an average of six shillings and fourpence. What is left must pay for everything. For the skilled technicians who bring to your screen all the 20th century magic trapped in those gleaming tins. It must pay for the men who report to you on the events of our times, the newsreel cameramen and their backroom colleagues with their intricate and costly equipment. It must pay for the huge studios where the feature films are made, features which may cost hundreds of thousands of pounds each without a penny being wasted. Directly and indirectly, the film industry is a source of livelihood for a quarter of a million people, men and women skilled in hundreds of different trades and professions. To pay for all this, Two-thirds of the box office takings are not enough. Hence the crisis in the industry. And what is happening? This. Last year, 216 cinemas in Britain were forced to close their doors. One in every 20. And some of them were the only cinemas for many miles. Here's one town that has recently lost its only cinema. We asked the chairman of the Urban District Council to tell us about it. We used to have a cinema in this town, one only. Now it is closed, and my council and myself are very perturbed about it. People of all ages are affected, and when families have to travel to the next town for their entertainment, their hometown starts to lose its identity. This is a great pity. Hardest hit of all, of course, are the old age pensioners who can get into the cinema for sevenpence by showing their old age pension books. Now they have to add on the bus fare, which they can ill afford. And believe me, going to the pictures means a lot to these old people. We did all we could to save our cinema. The council even considered subsidizing it, but our budget wouldn't run to that. If a cut in the entertainment tax can help towns like ours to save their cinemas, we believe it should be cut now. Your cinema is a human place, a family place. Every Saturday, for a few pence, it gives your children a morning of wholesome laughter and excitement. It takes them off your hands for an hour or two without you having to worry about them. Yes, a human place, a welcoming place. But today, in town after town, managers are having to close their cinemas and say goodbye to their staffs. Cinemas which should be prosperous are being crippled by a tax amounting to a third of their takings. Unless part of this burden is lifted, many more screens will be darkened many more friendly lights will go out for the last time. How do you feel about your cinema being closed? Well, it's a sad day for me, losing my cinema, my staff, and all the good local friends we've made over the years. Something must be done about it. Personally, I shall contact my local MP. And if every other cinema goer did the same, something would be done about it.